Stop with that, yo. Uh, stop. 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 It's, it's, it's going. It's, it's rolling. rolling. Oh. Alright. What's up, everybody? <laughs> we here from the live from the O2 vlog. Uh, you know, Young She, we got 1Z Photography in the cut making his coffee. But today, just as I promised, we have a very, very special guest. So let's clap it up for Tom from Cat Comedy. Um, yeah, he's the man. I met Tom probably like a year ago. Probably maybe that long, maybe not yeah. that long. But um he's just he's just the man. <laughs> he's just the man. <laughs> but um yeah, as we do on the live from the O2 vlog, we're just gonna chill. We're gonna talk about some cool art that we have going on um around southern Delaware. So we're going to start this drawing with announcements. Z is over there making his coffee, but I guess he'll go last. Yeah, I'll go last. Um, okay, so first announcement I wanted to make. Um, the new website is up. If y'all haven't gone to the O2collection.com, go to the O2collection.com. We got the new shirts with the Delaware logo with the O2 collection. We got the hats. We got the black. We got turquoise. We got some camo ones for all you camo heads. These are actually going like really mad fast. I thought that they wouldn't, but they did. That's because we in Sussex County. <laughs> yeah, because we in Sussex County, but that's good. It's good that uh, all types of different people, yeah. you know what I mean, it was are, a loving joke. Our, <laughs> are loving our stuff. Um, on April 29th, we're going to be on the Cave Show Radio in Philly again. Um, we went there like probably like two or three months ago. Had a good time. At I started an artist spotlight page on the o2collection.com. I want to get you on there. Um, but yeah, yeah so good. like Connor, Connor Felico is on there. My friend Jules that I went to high school with is on there. She's doing some real cool stuff in Tennessee, but she's from Delaware. So if you're from Delaware and you want to get featured on it, just email me. Or email him. If you can write YouTube, me if you follow me or whatever, yeah. and I'll let him know. As far as that goes, because we're accepting all artists. That's in the right. 302. That's in the 302. Now, I mean, it doesn't matter where you're located at right now. Like he just said, he has a friend that's in Tennessee. You could be anywhere. As long as you're from the 02, we'll put you on. Yeah, even when we're even when we're away in different places, like it's so much talent in Delaware. So I'd much rather bring somebody from here, you know what I mean, to, to showcase than somebody somewhere else who we don't know. You gotta let them know. You know what I mean? You gotta let them know. Everywhere, you know what I mean? Everywhere yeah. you go. People were like, wait, Delaware? Like, that's the thing? And yeah. you're like, yeah, yeah, we're better at you than everything. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the crazy part. Right. People, right. Why don't you like, know? Delaware? <laughs> where, is Delaware, is that in Rhode Island? Somebody told me, I was like, bro, what? <laughs> where is Rhode Island at? I don't even right. know where that's at. It's so, so. Rhode Island is as far right as above like, us. Yeah. <laughs> like you gotta get the O2 on the basket. That's crazy. <laughs> That <laughs> is crazy. He doesn't know where Rhode Island is. <laughs> oh man, listen. If it's past New York and Jersey, up that highway, I don't know where it's at. Trust me. All Trust right. Me. <laughs> On a different note, uh, Tom, you got any uh, announcements for Mooncat Comedy? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we run an open mic every Tuesday at Goodfellas in Milton. It's off of Mulberry Street. Um, yeah, it's uh, like sign up is around 8 o'clock. Show starts around 8.30. If uh, you want five minutes to talk about whatever you want, you know, try to make some jokes, make people laugh, you get to, uh, you get to come out and do it then. Um, so that's every Tuesday, Goodfellas Milton. Um, myself personally doing some comedy shows. I've got a show in New York City on April 16th. It's oh, at, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I actually need to write my set for it, because otherwise I'm going to bomb, and that's not going to be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's at Greenwich Village Comedy Club. If you want to you know, send it to any of your friends up there, let them know, buy tickets, come out to see me there. Or on uh, April 29th in Federalsburg, Maryland, I'm going to be on the I Might Need Bail Money show. Hmm? So uh, <laughs> that's going to be a good one. That's with Sure Funny Entertainment, and they're a bunch of cool cats okay. that are... Uh, out on the eastern shore doing That's some weird. comedy stuff. Weird. Yeah. Man, cool stuff going on. Um, Saturday, we have a music video shoot. Um, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Shout out to um, Johnny Media. My guy, Mush, he's going to be mad because I call him Mush. 
But yo, I grew up in Ellendale with Mush. He was two houses down from me, and I didn't even know his name was Johnny for a while. Like, I seen him out years later. I was like, yo, Mush. And he's like, no, nah, man, my name's Johnny. Like, but I seen him in Georgetown the other day. He was telling me he had, like, a music video company now that he works with. He's going to college for it. He's doing his thing. So we're going to be out there turning up. Z is going to get the day off. So he's just going to turn up with us in the video. Oh, um, Yeah, so the, the public shoot... That we have, we're gonna do some. We're gonna do like some various scenes, but the one that everybody is invited to is on Saturday um, at the bandstand in Rehoboth. We're gonna be there at one o'clock. Um, Z has got some new music coming out lately. Oh yeah! By the way, I just did like three songs. They're just like sitting on my laptop, marinating. That's how I do things, and I listen to them to see how much I like them after I do them. So maybe a week or so, I'll drop at least one of them. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. And one is untitled, but the first two are waiting and done. Those are the titles. Cool. So. Yeah, no, and, and the song that we're doing on Frock on Saturday is all new. The song's actually going to drop on Saturday, so nobody will know it. Mm. But still, come turn up for the video, and then the video will drop later. Also, on the K Show, I will be recording again as the photographer, as always, but... They did have a mic challenge where everybody got the freestyle at the end. I might enter that. Word. Last time, <laughs> Word. My hands were just sitting there like that. I was like, oh man. Word. But the now, freestyle sessions were yeah. dope at the end. Yeah, shout out to the Cave Show. Man. Yeah, they so, do a lot yeah, of shout out stuff. to them. And shout out to them, even though they're in Philly, they showing love to a lot of artists in Delaware. Or I don't they show love to in me. In Delaware, around Delaware. <laughs> I don't know if they show love to other people in Delaware. <laughs> A lot they of they show love to at least one person <laughs> in Delaware, person. which is cool. Wait, wait, wait! They know about Delaware and yeah, they a couple of us. In they do. Because <laughs> the last time I was on there, he was like, "Rehoboth, in Delaware." I was like, "Yeah." He's like, you "Used to sell crack in Rehoboth, Delaware." <laughs> oh, I was shout like, out the podcast. Oh, he said that. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's not nah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, so days. so he knows about West Side and all that in the area. We could assist you with that. <laughs> Dude, that's interesting. I you know, I've never known Rehoboth for its crack really, you know? Yeah. I mean, like just, just, just West Side, but I, I guess that comes from coming from Pine Town. That's the only okay. reason why yeah. I know about it. Yeah. Right. Alright. Yeah, Rehoboth. Fairly decent, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> It, it's sitting in the middle of the it's rich community, so it's actually like a sore thumb because right. it's like it's just crazy about the environment that it is around surrounding mm -hmm. it. But hey, it's what but, made a lot of us, me specifically. I know you guys probably see me and be like, "Yo, that's a jiggy motherfucker," but I'm telling you, like, he from three, from maybe five trenches, years right. ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like from the trenches. I almost threw my whole life away. I went to jail for six months. All that. That's coming from Pine Town, but I changed myself around. I'm a poet now. I do more artful stuff as in drawing. I rap and now I'm doing photography. Skill Word. sets on a hundred. Uh -huh. Word. But alright, since Tom is here, we're gonna get into the interview section. So Tom, yes. what made you want to start out Mooncat Comedy? Cause it's very like it's just like a musical open mic where people get up and they might be amazing. They might get up and they might be mediocre. They might get up and they might just suck. Yeah. But I feel like you 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 always extend that invitation to everybody to get up and be involved, right. whether you feel like their skills are up to par or not. You yeah. Know what I mean, the invitation is still ext extended to them to be a part of what you have right. going on. Yeah. Well, that's the. Uh, so yeah, that's the basically the whole concept behind it, man. Is like um, first to answer the first part of the question is. It's crazy because the music scene is so cool around here, and like right. there's so many music open mics. Like you can't like oh. go down the street without hitting a music open mic. You know, three three different ones in a in a night every right. day, night of the week. But then um, there were no comedy open mics, right. so it was yeah. like you know that like you can do comedy at a music open mic, but that it's tough because right. the crowd is a different crowd. They're there to listen to music, and then you're up there and you're like, hey, what a great crowd! Uh, <laughs> don't you hate it? And, huh? and everyone's like, what is this guy doing? Right. Like, yeah. you know, um, so it was a little bit of that. And then the other part is like, the only way you can get better at anything is if you do it. I got, I, you want a book? Uh... I'm using my nephew's bib. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you good, bro? I'm sorry about that, bib. Live. You, what, we live on Facebook Live. All right, cool. So what we'll do too? Yo, Forrest Jackson just joined. What's good with you, boy? Um, since we are kind of half live to where we're not gonna be live on the YouTube, but we're live on the Facebook, we can take questions too. Get that man a hat. <laughs> What's good, my fellas? Yeah, heck yeah. We got yeah. Which what type of hat you want? We'll definitely Dude, gift you a hat. You want I'll a black one? Um, let's see. So we got black, guest. turquoise, and I got camo right there. Your first guest. Yeah, the first guest ever. Definitely, we got a slide a hat. Can always can always use a use a black hat. Use black you hat. Mean? Or you want to talk to me? Or where can they find you? Yeah, where can they find me? Where can um, they find you at? Besides the open mic on Tuesdays uh, at Goodfellas, you can find me on, uh, I guess, social media, Facebook, you know. Uh, Put it right down here. Yeah. Look at the Facebook down there. It's a uh, Mooncat Comedy Facebook page, mooncatcomedy.com. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on Instagram at I am Tom Sherman, but, you know, I only post, like, weird things on there, so don't really, <laughs> you don't really need to go there if you don't want to. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So mooncatcomedy.com If you uh, you know what I mean If you want to get into that Weird, weird vibe Go follow him on Instagram too yeah. But if not, mooncatcomedy.com <laughs> Yeah, that'll do that'll And do. what time do they need to come out to perform? To perform uh, we The sign ups are between 8 and 8.30 um, But if you We normally draw numbers at 8.20 So if you get to there Before 8.20 We'll make an announcement on the PA system, like, hey, we're about to go draw numbers. And then you can come draw numbers. If you show up after 8.30 and I don't know you, I might not put you on. If you've come out before and, like, you've done comedy, like, and you're running late and you let me know, you can get, all, you know, I'll put you on at the end of the show. But if you just show up and then you get drunk during the show and you're like, oh, I want to go on now. Right. It's like, yeah, no, you had your chance to sign up. Right. Yeah. Get there before 8.20 and, uh. Let me know. I know, you know what I mean? I know y'all are funny, but just... <laughs> you gotta have some discipline, too. Yeah, you gotta sign up. You gotta have sign up, too. Have made up before you get there. Don't be all late. Have yeah. respect. We had some guy get drunk, and he started juggling pool balls, and, like, they're, <laughs> like, falling all over the place, and, like, the owners of the bar are like, why is this okay. guy, like, throwing <laughs> pool balls around? And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, what, yeah, what's going true. on? And, uh, and then he gets up, and he's just like... Yeah, it, because we didn't turn off the speaker, like, so we, like, was like, show's over, and we all left, the, you know, started leaving, and then he, like, gets on, and he's like, so, hey, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. What the hell is yeah, going on? Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't be no. that guy. But, I'm yeah, Mooncat Comedy, man, you know, we always love to support local Delaware artists. Like I said, if you want to be on the artist uh, spotlight page, if you want to cop a hat. Tom Sherman got his hat today, you dig? Yeah, these are fresh, man. These are comfortable. Yeah. They're like, they're cool. you know, some hats, like, don't, like, they're too shallow. Mm -hmm. These aren't too shallow. Um, one more announcement to my good friend Jai. She just got her a camera, and she's ready to get out there and shoot with me, and I'm excited and ready for her to shoot with me as well. We got big things planned, so, yeah. I'll probably be in front of the camera a lot more now. Cool. Rather than on the other side, but I'll still be doing the photography. One Z. One Z. Is that it? Does anybody have anything else to talk about? Mm. I like pancakes instead of waffles. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I prefer waffles. That's fine. Mm. Waffles so, or French yeah, like toast, though. Too. That's the serious question. Oh, man. I don't say French. I don't know. A good waffle I, is hard. Yeah. Like, a good, like, if you go stay a night at like a hotel and they got the actual waffle press to where you make those, the waffles, I'm gonna waffles. take that any day. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, those are like on a hundred. Cause that's on this finger. Impeccable. I like being able to fill up all the cups with syrup, like yeah, all the little yeah, indentations yeah. of the waffle. Like, I do that too. That's like, like you know what yeah, I mean. You can't do that with a pancake or French you toast. You that's, can't. You really it's like can't. OCD heaven. Yeah. It, it is. It, it's every <laughs> yeah, every yeah. single one. Every, yeah, you, yeah, you just kind of go around <laughs> the go edge. Around, and like, every yeah. single one. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's actually perfect. They're going to be... Are you looking to expand? Like, have some more open mics? On yeah, well, this is a TV? militarized comedic takeover of okay. the Delmarva Peninsula, for sure. Um, it's a... Uh, 
So, yeah, I mean, we do, a, we, we have a monthly show in Salisbury, which okay. is the third Wednesday um, of the month. And so that's more like a showcase type deal. It's not as much of an open mic as the one in Milton is. Uh, we're getting some comedians from New York and uh, Philly to come down to do some, uh, like, kind of like tours throughout the summer. Like a couple days, a couple places around. So we're producing some shows like that. Uh, you know, yeah, we're always trying to expand, get get a little more territory, get a, you know, move on up to, we've had shows before in like Milford and, you know, I, I want to get up to Dover at some point and, you know, start a scene up there or something yeah. because, uh, you know, everybody needs a little comedy, you know, yeah, that's everybody the, does, that's the, and, uh, the world is too serious right now, people way need too to serious. learn how to laugh about yeah. things. Yeah, and, and people need a place to go perform comedy otherwise they're just gonna you know what I mean they're just gonna have their weird thoughts in their head and you know it's always better to get the weird thoughts out of the head <laughs> so, <laughs> so, they don't, so they don't marinate in their yeah, exactly. weird actions yeah exactly <laughs> that's my general theory about the whole thing well yeah no on a backtrack note cause just for people out here that are seeing um that kind of want to start somewhere but don't know where to start you act, You started in a garage, right? You actually yeah. started your. So he started an open mic comedy in a garage, and then yeah. built it to be the longest running open mic on the Delmarva Peninsula. So if you are consistent, like the, you don't, man, I'm telling you, you don't need a fancy, you know what I mean, Nothing. stage. You don't need a. Fa I'm trying no. to start some garage shows yeah. personally. Yeah. Just the, need the scenery does not make you better. Yeah. It's all in you. It's all within it's you. It's all in you. Yeah, so even if you went, it, man, and we got so many tools at our disposal, you could do a Facebook Live comedy set. And exactly. people know every Friday at 3 p.m. I'm yep. going live and I'm telling jokes. Yep. I guarantee you, you may have one person watch it the first Friday, but you do that for a month straight, you're going to have at least 10, 15 It'll people. Yeah. So yeah. the consistency come. is key. It's yeah, true. When I, when I started out with my photography, I didn't have like... A lot of people that were telling me like my pictures were good and stuff like that, but as I progressed and I kept going on and I didn't care about what they said or what they thought because I knew I was serious about photography and I would get better with time. And now I am and people will always compliment me or, you know, mm -hmm. little stuff like that. So just keep it up. And in the same vein, when you stop doing something, when you've been doing something consistently and it's easy to take a week off or it's easy to take a day off. It's it, once you do that, it's so much harder to get back on and, right. and go out and do another set, go out and take another picture because you're like, oh man, I haven't been out in a while, like I'm right. kind of rusty, I don't have any new jokes, and then that's how I've seen a lot of talented comedians, local comedians around here, they they've come out for like six months at a time, and then they miss one week, two weeks, and then all of a sudden it's like four yeah. months later, and yep. you know they haven't uh, they haven't come out, and then when they do come out, they've They've lapsed back to uh, you know what I mean. Like, like right. they're they're not they're not as sharp because right. they they haven't been doing stuff consistently. Yep. Names on there? Who's on here? Somebody comment something to let who's watching. Yo, Josh Bell, Stephen Deneen, what's good with y'all, man? Oh, what's up, Stephen? Steven, yo, Stephen Deneen, the Stephen. Yeah, Steve, yeah, Steve. yeah. Shout out, yo. To what's good with you, bro? Yo. I haven't seen him in years. I haven't neither, yo. But you're cool. We got Z, all right. Steve. I just seen his sister like youth, man. maybe a month ago. Shire, she rode by me going to Marshalls. I think I was outside Jersey Mike's. So, and yeah. Josh Bell too, yo. That's my guy. Oh, word. That's my guy, yo. All right. What yeah, I was saying just... before I got cut off is, if you're a comedian, an artist, anything like that, don't let anybody tell you that you're not because you're just starting out and you feel like you're an amateur it's already stamped if that's what you have in your mind to do or your skill set you're going to get better at it so therefore you are like i'm a photographer but i might not be professional to some people but that's what i am and i'm a poet at the end of the day but i might not be a famous poet but right. that's still what you are you're entitled to that because that's your skill set and the next person that tells you that you can't call yourself that or can't do that doesn't have that talent or that right so don't don't worry about that. Yeah. Right. Don't let them. Yeah. Don't let them tell you. Yeah. yeah what you are and what you aren't. I yeah, mean, that's yeah. as simple as that. Because at the end of the day, they're not doing it themselves. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. And be able to take critiques from people who are doing it. Yeah. You know that's I mean? another thing. But also, just hard work. You know, I'm telling you, I meet so many people who are like, yo, I'm a, I'm a songwriter. I'm a rapper. I'm this and that. Yo, you got to go and work hard and prove yourself to, yeah. you know what I mean? Not even prove yourself to anybody else. It's, you got to prove yourself to yourself. Like, it's a lot of people who want to do art as a career. And especially somewhere like Delaware, there's not really an established um, 
culture of people who can work in art as a full-time career. So if you do want to be that, you're going to have to work 10 times harder as if you were in Philly or if you were in Atlanta. You know what I mean? You got to be willing to make those sacrifices and just be smart with it. You, know? you got to be smart fiscally. You got to be smart with where you spend your time, where you spend your energy. But yeah, don't one, let anybody tell you. One you more you important do. thing, you have to be motivated and you have to bust moves. And I'm about to shout out this most motivated person that I ever known or met ever since I first met this guy and he's sitting right here this guy right here Aww. young sheep I met him when he was doing the create <laughs> thing like back when he was way in like still in high school because I'm 22 and he's he's still younger than me so he was still in high school but when I met him his energy was just good and then like the motivation and he was willing to work with me and he just met me but he's seen the talents like don't ever discourage somebody because you might think their talents are better than yours or something like that always want to help it's about helping and showing respect giving respect credit where it's due all that type of stuff because this guy right here he makes moves like he said the 29th we're going to the cave show philly i i didn't know nothing about that till like last week when he told me but the main thing about that is he went and did that and set that up himself he went after that that's way in philly we're in delaware like i said that you got to make those moves and progress and got to want to do it and that's exactly what this guy got does. to. And main thing, while we are on this topic, stop with the freaking Instagram flexing, Facebook flexing. Stop with that, yo. Uh, stop. 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 If you call me and tell me, yo, I want you to peep my mixtape. I want you to give me a nice rate on a, on a studio session. If I look at your Instagram and I see some stupid flexing, I'm automatically, no, 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 no. For real, for real, it's about the love of what you do. If you're trying to flex on somebody else and be like, yo, Ah, uh, this is what we're doing. This is, we got this out here. Yeah, nah, man. Do it for the love of what you do, and do it for the people around you. Like that's yo. Nothing frustrates me more than when I see that. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, nothing frustrates me more. It'll be more everlasting too if you do it for the love of what you're right. doing, versus like the money or the fashion and the attention. Like, this, right. it, that's it's small minded. That's, I could go yeah. and I could go buy a three hundred dollar watch. Or I could have some money to invest back into my clothing line and I could get some merchandise in. I could make more money off my product and I could have, you know what I mean, extra to where I can just give to people because I like what they're doing. You know what I mean? And just have, just be able to support local artists too. Yeah. So man, but that's, all that stuff is going to go down the tube anyway. Like, yeah. yeah See, that, that's the crazy thing because that's why I had took, I think it was like maybe two years off or maybe a year and a half from rapping. And like I even sold, I had sold my laptop and everything. And now I got a new one. I just bought this one because I'm getting back into it. But every artist knows when they have downtime. And I really went through downtime and I was like kind of depressed and all that stuff. But then I started writing poetry. And that's when I started finding myself. And as I kept writing poetry, I got better at writing my songs for my, like, my right. lyrics for my songs, it all came together, but you like always take a point and look at what you're doing and see if you need to tweak it some or something like that for yourself because it's always about what you like and what you need to do. It's about the love, it's about the local love, it's about the love abroad, but like we always say, we're doing this for the O2, so Tom, thank you for coming out. Thanks for having me, Mooncat Comedy, it. live from the O2, man, we're going to be doing this, um... I mean, the time that we film it is different every week, yeah. but Friday it drops. <laughs> Friday just drops. So it's from it's live is, when we do it. This is live right now. <laughs> this is if live. you're watching if this, you, it's live. It's live. Like, <laughs> you could be watching this at 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. Two years from now. It is <laughs> it's live. live. It's yeah. happening.